To begin, let us explore the menu structure. Here you can see a range of options which can be used to customize how the AutoCAD plotter works. Let's now select a coordinates file and see the AutoCAD plotter in action. As you can see, details of each point in the coordinate file has been extracted, one point per line. Let us now select a target drawing file where the points will be plotted. The AutoCAD plotter allows you to easily toggle points, the list on the left will be plotted, the one on the right will not. Select a single or multiple points to plot and reorder as necessary. Should you wish, a northing and easting prefix can be added, which will be appended to the beginning of each coordinate value. Once the plotting options and layer selections have been made, we can now proceed with the plotting of the selected points. As you can see, all selected points have been plotted with the correct X, Y, and Z values on the target AutoCAD drawing. Let us now include a caption to be printed beside each point, in this instance the points X and Y values. As you can see, the point caption, as specified, has been plotted beside each point. We will now add two additional layers to the AutoCAD plotter, which will be saved these will be used as the target layers for points and text captions. In addition, the point caption will be modified once more.
Notice how the points in the joining lines are now plotted against a specified layer, as is each point caption. We will now modify the plotting options. These dictate what is to be plotted. In this instance the point caption will be removed and initial point will be joined to the last point. It is possible to export data as GSI format. This process will now be demonstrated. Once the export has been completed, the file will be used as the coordinates file and reloaded into the AutoCAD plotter.